Mr. Rajiv Ratan is also joining us, so let's get in his perspective also. Ratan India was also one of the uh, several petitioners where, when it comes to uh, you know this whole development. Mr. Ratan, if you could also fill us in, how big a relief are you now looking at uh, for for your company and for the entire power space? And, uh, thanks for the opportunity. I really uh, applaud the Supreme Court on the judgment. Uh, uh, the, I would like to make a few points here. First, uh, power is a core infrastructure. This is more core than uh, airports or roads. I mean, one needs uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, demand is growing. And the way it is structured in India, uh, especially people who are taking coal from let's say coal India, you are ba basically taking coal from one arm of the government and then uh, you know, hauling it using another arm of the government which is railways and then uh, burning it and selling the power to uh, an arm of the state government which is a distribution company. So in this entire chain there are all these government entities involved and the uh, uh, situation has become extremely complex and needs to be simplified. As part of the court process, uh, Allahabad High Court had asked the uh, uh, cabinet secretary to form a committee and uh, assess the reasons of stress. And uh, that high level and part committee came out with its report. And uh, in that report, if you see the reasons of stress, there is only one reason attributed to promoters, which is the uh, uh, lack of equity for completing the project. So, the, like both of our plants are complete, uh, Nasik and Amravati, uh, but uh, they, they have uh, stress uh, because of a variety of reasons. So. Uh, Government recognized that, post that they formed a government uh, group of ministers. After that, the Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs in early uh, March approved the uh, decisions of uh, GON. Before that, there have been uh, uh, parliamentary standing committees on energy which recognize the stress. So uh, we, we just can't wish it away. We, it, this is not a problem of uh, merely uh, the promoters and the lenders. Uh, the system has to get together and find solutions and which this judgment will give us time to do that. Uh, there is uh, a recognition from every quarter that yes, the stress is uh, uh, largely beyond uh, uh, the control of uh, promoters and uh, something needs to be done. And uh, uh, earlier there was a huge pressure on the bank to haul everyone into NCLT uh, merely because this circular was, was there, so that is no longer there. And I think uh, real problem solving can happen now. Uh, we can uh, wait for the effects of uh, uh, Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs decisions uh, uh, pursuant to the high level in part committee uh, uh, recommendations. Uh, to, uh, we can wait for those effects to trickle down. Uh, uh, because this, uh, the sector needs to be solved. It is in everybody's interest. Otherwise, this country is staring at a power shortage in uh, two to three years' time. Uh, and thermal coal uh, for us is a uh, national security asset. We import uh, petroleum, but we have enough coal. We have 100 uh, uh, years plus of reserves. What are we going to do right, in Rajiv. 20 years? Who will let us burn coal right. at that time? Rajiv, what is your sense? How big a relief is this for the power sector, at least in the near term? Uh, this is a huge relief. Uh, now people can get to uh, real uh, uh, problem solving asset by asset. Uh, when I say the people, the basically the lenders and promoters and the the different government arms, uh, uh, they can get down to problem solving. Uh, I think this is a huge relief to the sector. Audrey, give us a, a perspective from the banker's standpoint because we've seen uh, the banking industry, especially the PSU bank uh, banks, deal under severe pressure. And uh, you know, Feb Circular or Feb Twelve Circular has also had a great deal to do with that. Uh, the rise in GNPAs, the increased uh, losses. If you look at the Q4 uh, uh, results of last year as well, so give us a sense of uh, what kind of a uh, you know impact would it have going forward when it comes. To the banking space. So, Chaudhary, uh, give us your perspective about uh, the impact it could have going forward on bankers, banks, especially PSU banks. I think uh, we may have lost uh, that line, so we'll try to reconnect with Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, meantime, um, 
Yes, sir, Ms. Ratan is still with us. So, Ms. Ratan, talk to us about, uh, you know, what will be the next step? How is the, uh, you know, uh, resolution uh, process, of course, is likely to vary from company to company after, uh, you know, this big development has happened. But, uh, you know, when can we finally see, uh, you know, uh, the power sector come out of uh, those blues, uh, come out uh, once again, uh, uh, turn profitable or start, you know, sort of seeing some improvement in the financials? Uh, now we have to uh, talk to our vendors and uh, we have government arms involved in the whole process. Uh, we await uh, implementation of the decisions of the Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs. Uh, so all, all those things uh, you know, will take some time. Uh, I think uh, overall time could be six months to a year. But uh, I think uh, these are steps in the right direction. Moreover, people are realizing that, uh, especially for power, unlike steel uh, or any other sector where you are selling to uh, markets or retail markets, uh, here uh, merely by sending to NCLT would not give a solution. For example, if a plant does not have full linkage or uh, a power purchase agreement, and then uh, that plant will not get a full linkage and a power purchase agreement uh, when it goes to NCLT. So if uh, there is no solution here, then uh, there is no buyer there also for such a plant. So uh, that realization is there with everyone, and uh, uh, I think uh, now, uh, uh, especially once the new uh, after elections, the government comes in, uh, uh, I'm sure they will be uh, coming in with some uh, real uh, hard decisions to uh, uh, restore confidence in the sector and to set it right. Right, Raji, thanks so much for taking our time for us. Always good, good to get perspective from you on that.